Hey there, it's Tyler, and today we're going to be teaching an AI to fly a spaceship. So before I can teach the AI to play the game, of course I've first got to make the game, since at the moment all I've got is a picture of a spaceship, a black screen, and the score counter. So next, we can just make the ship move. It shouldn't be too hard, there's four different actions, up, down, left, right, and whenever you press one of those, it makes the ship move a bit. It shouldn't be too complicated. We're also going to want some lasers for our spaceship, because what kind of spaceship doesn't have lasers? So there we go, we got our spaceship moving. I had to add a bit more code in so that the image would change direction, because otherwise it looked a bit weird if the spaceship was facing one way while moving another. And I also had to add some more code in for the lasers, since apparently Python doesn't understand what go pew pew means. So although having a spaceship and lasers is nice, we kind of need some enemies to make this into a proper game. So without further ado, we're going to add some meteors in. So now we've got a full game. It's pretty simple really, just got to try and shoot as many meteors as possible while not getting hit by any to try and survive as long as possible. And on screen now you can see me playing the game. I promise you, the game is harder than it looks, okay? I don't just suck really badly. Like, it's seriously difficult. So after spending a fair while playing this game, here are my two best records while playing. They both ended up in around the 50s, because later on in the game, it gets seriously hectic, and there's basically no room to manoeuvre at all. I'll be quite impressed if an AI gets to around this point, but that's the target to beat, that's the superhuman threshold for this game. Also, if you'd like the chance to name an AI for one of my videos, just head down to the comments and give me some suggestions, because I'm always open to use some new crazy names for my AIs. Also, while you're there, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see some more AI content. So our new AI Damien is born, and as you can see at the moment he's just doing completely random actions as per normal. An interesting thing about this game is that even with random actions, it still managed to get a pretty good score. Before I even started recording it got a score of nearly 30, which isn't brilliant but it's not easy either, and considering it's just entirely random, it's quite interesting that it's able to get a score that good. So I've now skipped forward to about an hour into the training, and until this clip, I was actually getting worried that Damien just wasn't learning anything. However, now I'm starting to be a bit more convinced, as you can kind of see what he's going for, and he's doing alright. The technique I'm using for this video is called Dueling Double Deep Q Learning, which is actually the same algorithm I used in my last video. However, since then, I've done a bit of research and made some improvements, so hopefully Damien should be far superior to his predecessors. In preparation for my next video, I've actually already started researching a new technique, which hopefully should bring some decent improvements around to this AI, so get ready for that one. So for this video, I was thinking of doing a whole dramatic scene where I compete to try and get my record off of the AI. However, the AI is only an hour into training and is already on par with my record, so I think it's safe to say I'm not going to be winning this one. So I'm going to try a slightly new style here, and I'm going to show you a montage of all the clips from 10 hours of training all the way to the end of training, which was about three days. So here it is.
So there we have it. Damien got a final score of 78.92, which not only completely blew my score out of the water, but was also just incredibly impressive to look at. So I'm very happy with how he did. And it's safe to say the new improvements to the algorithm definitely seem to do something. So here's the final graph of Damien's progress. As you can see at the start, it was a pretty smooth journey with him increasing pretty rapidly and getting much better. And then it became a bit slower and a bit more bumpy, but all in all, he was still improving for a very long time. Towards the end, he did start to stagnate, which is why I eventually stopped it. But overall, I think he made a lot of progress and I think it's pretty clear to see he could indeed fly a spaceship. Anyway, that's all for today. So thank you for watching and see ya.